Not a good day. We got seven foot seas coming through the harbor here soon. <clears throat> Blowing 40 right now. And uh, got something going on up here in the sky. So, that gonna be fun. some rain your batteries while we do that I'll show you what's going on with that so we're 50% charged right now and we're using we're using three amps or we're putting in three amps because there's no minus sign there that's from the solar it's not very sunny out so let's see if the solar is doing so yeah the solar's putting in six amps so we're using three and then so we're putting three in the bank so, let's see. So right now, three amps. So all standards on, small engine modes on. So that means it should be running about uh, 70 amps. It's a 100, 180 amp alternator. So it's running at 70 amps. So we'll run that. And that'll give us hot water for shower too. Now, if you watch here, it takes 10 seconds for delay for it to kick in. You'll hear the motor wind down. So there we go, it just kicked on. So now we're putting in 50 amps. So 50 amps, and I'm gonna turn it all the way on. I'm gonna give it a little more fuel before we do that. Because it's a big, it's a big load on this on this alternator. It's a Balmar XT170, and it works at a low RPM. But watch, so small engine mode's off. So now the alternator is hitting hard. Now we're putting in 100, 135 amps. So 50%. So in about two hours, I should have about 200 amps in there. Well, hey. We're gonna fix the outboard. We got a new carburetor for it. So a carburetor rebuild kit was, was like 90 bucks. And you can get a whole whole new carburetor for I think it was 120 bucks. So it's kind of a no-brainer. Just get the uh, just get a new carburetor. And then I keep the old one as a spare. Here is the old carburetor that we're going to swap out. So I'll take the choke off. That pops out. Then we'll take off the uh, throttle cable here. So this is a four horsepower Mariner, little guy. Now it's just a matter of taking off fuel line. So now we gotta get rid of this bolt, which hopefully it brought the right one, 10 ml. So this comes off and make sure you drop that in water and then you have to wait another month for that part to come in. So when it comes to doing delicate things, my hands aren't made for this kind of stuff. Oh, there it goes. There it fucking goes. Here we go. Alright, so back to square one. Try to get this the fuck out of the way because he knew that would be in the way. Too lazy to do anything about it. So now the screw is down there. So we're gonna try to work it out. So grease these up because these aren't worth a shit. Right in the water. Don't tell nobody. Okay. Let's see if we can get 
get it. Now the other side of the carburetor is slotted, so this one you just got to loosen. Almost. So there's the old one. Boom. New one. Don't fit. Wrong one. Wrong size. We're going to reuse the old gaskets because we don't have the gaskets, of course. That washer's going to come out. Bada bing, bada boom, bada bip, bip, bip. Okay, that's slotted. This might be the right one. I think it is. No fuel pumps in the way. Well, we almost did. We almost got something. give up so easy. Now this here is the funnest part of them all, that bolt. <laughs> How's this gonna go down? You're telling me I gotta get my hand in there to get that bolt on somehow. So this, my friends, it's gonna be magic if this can go on there now. So this, my friends, Magic if this can go on there. This is magic. Magic. Do you believe in magic? And I hope you do. Always have a friend. So smart money says to cover up the hole, but we don't do smart stuff over here. That's some other guy that does smart stuff. We do the hard stuff. Nope. Boy. Boy. These Japanese people must have real small fingers. Alright. So hopefully, put this puppy on there should have live action. Let's see what we got. Let's see what we got. Oh, put the choke back on. Chokes on, fuel, vent, let's see what we got. You gotta be shitting me. <laughs> it can't be that easy. Well, it won't stall until we get out, out to that. We're gonna go out to that mangrove today. That's when it'll stall. off the bottom of the boat today. So I got a plastic scraper from Walmart. You can get a little, just get yourself a little lanyard to put around your neck when you're not using it. And I got a brush. And that'll be a bath and it'll be um, something to do.
Fucking goggles. Can't see shit. There's a boat down there, but I can't see it because these fucking goggles. Every time I look down there, goggles fill up with water. Let's try it again. Fucking goggles, man. Can't see shit.